Welcome back to the channel. I stumbled across a video, let's watch it together. This is conditions and in this video I will tell you why this is wrong and how you should actually do it. More you will nest conditions one inside the other, harder your code will be to read. With the guard closes technique you will be able to write cleaner and more readable code. Let's start right now. This code is very simple. If we have Wi-Fi, if we are login and if we are an administrator then we can go inside the function cAdmin panel. Instead of bouncing our eyes between each if and else statements we should use instead Instead, the guard clauses technique. If you reverse the condition of the Wi-Fi and you say if there is no Wi-Fi, in this way you can put all the nested code right under. Then I will debug print and I will return nothing. And you can do the same thing for the condition login. If the user is not logged in, then I will debug print and I will return nothing. Again, it's the same thing for the admin condition. At the bottom, after each condition has been verified, we can add the function cAdmin panel. Okay, so we have guard closes. That's a very simple technique, as you saw. It's to prevent this pen, 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 pen. Where is the pen? One second, I will load up my mighty pen. We have this code, as he said. If there is Wi-Fi and it's login and it's admin, then he's able to see the admin panel. Otherwise, we are printing all kinds of debug messages. Okay, it's not really important why and what. What he suggests is this is to make, uh, by the way, our function is called premature for obvious reasons, because we are prematurely exiting the function, not, not, not because something else. Instead of that, he said, why don't we just negate? And if it's not true, we can just right, return right away, right? Because all we want is in the end, is to see the admin panel. If, and, and if none of the statements are true, we, we can just terminate the function and go, is this okay? Sure, so there is nothing wrong with it. If it makes your code readable, more readable, and easier to understand, then of course you should do it. Is there a different way of solving this issue? Sure, uh, here's the, an, another way I put together. Instead of returning, I just put all the conditions here into the top with the end operator. If admin and login and Wi-Fi, then you can see the admin panel otherwise into else if statements each of the messages as you can see here, here and here. That's all. So you learn the new thing, you apply it, you go home, take a nap, years later you take a look at your beautiful wife and kids and all of a sudden your phone is starting to ring and there's something weird about everything. It's as if it's ringing in your head and you wake up, there's no kids, there's no wife, your boss is calling because you made a mistake. But why? How? You just said it's okay to use it. Sure, if you are careful, but there's a mistake. Did you notice? Raise your hands. Those of you noticed, write it down in the comment section below. See, the function doesn't end there, buddy. See, there's a, there's a, uh oh, there's a PP check and uh, it shouldn't be an issue, right? But it is, because here you're terminating the function, you're exiting. And uh, if you're exiting, that means that the, the small PP check is not uh, executed. And that's, that's, that's an issue. And your boss is calling because his PP is not checked. And you should have checked. How, how can we solve this? And why are you showing this? You might say, Ernest, I'm not that dumb, okay? I will notice it. Do you? Do you really? Do you? Maybe it's 4 o'clock. Maybe you're really exhausted. Maybe you are ready to go home thinking about anime girls, right? And you just seen this technique and you wanted to show how good you are, right? And you just quickly put together this magnificent solution, right? And you made a pull request and maybe Maybe the one who is reviewing it has also been thinking about anime girls and code goes through and it does all sorts of issues, right? And I'm not saying it happened to me, right? I'm saying it happened to one of my relatives, okay? My grandma's friend, okay? My sister's cousin, Julio, who lives in Jamaica. So don't, don't worry about it. I don't, I don't want to talk about it. What I'm saying is that you have to be really careful with these things because 
prematurely uh, exiting a function can cause a lot of issues. So, is there a way to resolve this? Uh, this code should be executed before the return statement. So, well, you could probably like copy paste it everywhere, which is uh, okay, it's just the wrong place because like this, right? And, and here, and you have an even worse code like than before. So obviously this is not something you should do. So what's the solution? Well, there's no uniform solution. You have to figure it out on your own. But maybe you can take a look at this. Okay, maybe you could put your stuff into a different function and keep the code running. Okay, so here's the premature function. We did nothing to it. So we just wrap those things that need to be prematurely exited. Okay, so you, so you really want to keep this? Wrapped it in another function, put it in here, and it just continues. Surely, this is, of course, not the best solution, but it's a solution. If you want to keep using it, maybe you want to separate this part of your code, or you do whatever. And in this other solution, this is not an issue because there is no premature exit. So there is no early exit. Small pp check is executed. This is my take on uh, these uh, guard clauses. It's really neat. I'm actually using them and, and I prefer only like these small codes. I, I really don't like 21 return statements in a code. But if there's no other way, right? If it looks better, if it's more readable, then sure, I, I will do it, of course. I, I would rather do this than 20 nested uh, if statements. Sure, and then you shouldn't nest 20 uh, if statements because that means you are fundamentally doing a mistake and you should probably rethink your code and maybe, maybe not immediately jump into guard clauses but but maybe there is a better solution there is there is an actual better solution than uh than this that's all that's all but still this is a very strong pattern i do recommend it but always check everything not because your boss is gonna call and he's gonna be angry and you might lose your job so stay focused and thank you very much for watching the video leave a like and subscribe, whatever. Goodbye.